Coin Toss presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Number Both eight. teams are lining up for the kickoff. We're just about set to get this one underway. It's fielded at the two. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 31-yard line. The Rams and their coaching staff are just happy to have a guy like this in the program. Their offense really clicks when he's playing well. Well, I think it gives them the diversity that they're looking for. I mean, at times they're going to run the football. Other times they're going to try to air it out. When you have one guy that gets so much attention on the outside, it just seems to open up other aspects of their offensive attack. And they've done a good job as an offensive staff of putting together a good plan. And I'm sure we're going to see it again today. And the delayed handoff works for a big game. Got to be happy with the effort there by your tailback. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 46. Fires quickly to the tight end. Tackle made at the 44. If you're the defense, who do you try to cover this guy with? He's too fast for most linebackers. He's too big for most corners. You have to rely on your safeties, who generally aren't very good in one-on-one -on -one coverage. Nice run up the middle. Six yards there on the counter. That'll make it second and four. Second and four. Ball on the 38-yard line. Gets out to around the 25. That's another first down, Brad. And right now, you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in. Their ability to pick up first downs, just pushing this defense further and further down, back deep into their own territory. That's a great tackle at the 24-yard line. That makes it second and ten. From the 24-yard line, second down. tight end and he's in the end zone touchdown these guys need to be aware this aerial attack is capable of making some big plays they've got to get on their toes and he adds the extra point so that's a six-play, 68-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. So our score, 7-0. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. to the back quickly off his hands incomplete from their own 25 yard line it's second down he wants it all can't pull it in it fly oh he had the pick and he dropped it that'll make it fourth down and they're gonna have to punt the defense held their ground on that play the quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers Wiggins awaits the snap he gets out to about the 45 yard line 
The offense will be hoping they can move the ball as well as they did on their last drive. And it was a really nice drive, too, Brad. The quarterback got into a nice rhythm and did a good job of picking apart the defense. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's good for a of five yards. That brings him second and five. From the 50, second down. Fires to his tight end, nothing doing. rid of it. Excellent series by this defense, forcing them to go three and out. And the offense really struggled on this drive. They're going to have to pick it up if they want to move the ball on these guys. And they could really put their opponent in bad field position with a good punt here. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Little handoff. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Second down and five. Ball on their own 25. Here comes the pressure, and he throws it away. Got a receiver, and he dropped it. Maxwell was the intended receiver on that pass, so that'll make it fourth down. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on the pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. Brought down at the 49. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. They'll bring him down at the 22-yard line. What a great time to go with the play action. Defense was anticipating run. They came up to stop the ball carrier. The quarterback was able to find his receiver downfield. He makes a big-time play and a great catch for a first down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 22-yard line. And that sets them up for the first and goal. That makes it first and goal. And he just gets rid of it. From the 10 yard line, second down. There's a strike complete. And he's taken down around the 10 yard line. No more races than that. That's a 10 yard line. That makes it third and goal. hit immediately. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. And if they can connect on this one, that'll put them up by a couple of scores. Kicks away, and it's good. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. 
Haley takes it to 15. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. The Rams are looking downright scary on defense so far, Herbie. They are flying around as a group right now, completely aware of what this offense is trying to do and dismantling them every single time on every single play. Their last drive ended in a punch, so this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive. They've been beaten soundly on both sides of the ball, and we haven't even gotten to the second quarter. Second down and seven coming up here. Ball on their own 27. Now he's scrambling. He gets sacked on the play. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. Yet to go, but at the end of one, the Rams with a 10 point lead. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Raider, Raider, Raider. Wiggins is waiting for the snap. Taken down at the 41 yard line. It was a pretty one sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. It's the tailback. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Those linebackers do a great job of stopping the run, but they need to be careful of the play action pass. You can easily get fooled and give up some big yards through the air. Second down and 11. Ball on the 40. They come out on an empty backfield. Slings it. Great concentration to pull it in. And they make the stop around the 38-yard line. Well, we've got a new quarterback in there. You have to wonder not only how will he do, but what does this do to the starter's psyche? Second and nine. Ball on the 36-yard line. There's a fumble. It's scooped up, and it's a lineman that's got it. Get it to the 28. They go with a run, and he's going to be stopped short. The punter is going to try to pin them deep in their own territory with a good punt here. It's a short kick. That turned out to be a nice little punt there. It was just a little pooch kick, but it was very effective. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. He has some room. Makes it out to about the 20. from their own 20-yard line. First down. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. 
So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. Got a man in and out of his hands. From their own 22-yard line, third down. He's under pressure. Steps up in the pocket and sacked. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. Oh, man, he took him down hard. The Rams' offensive staff, I think, has done a good job of keeping their wide receiver in the game. Even though he's not having great stats, he's part of it, and the rest of the team now is going up his slack, I think. Well, this offense is still putting points on the board, and I think at times they're actually using the wide receiver, the go-to man who's drawing so much attention, really as a decoy, open up other avenues of this offense. We've seen other receivers make some plays. They're running the football. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments this defense makes to try to slow down these other members of this offense. And who knows, maybe that could open it back up for that marquee receiver. From the 31-yard line, first down. Caught with room to work. He goes out of bounds right around the 16-yard line. First down. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. And he gets the touchdown. Such a talented, skillful back as you saw right there. What makes him even better is that these coaches know how to use him. He makes the PAT. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Maxwell takes it to 14. The ball pops free. It's recovered, and they tackle him at the 26. The Rams are just cruising through this first half, Herbie. Really a comfortable lead here. Yep, but still a lot of football left to be played. they got to remember that it's a four-quarter game, and even though that first half went pretty well, things can change in a hurry. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. hit immediately. That makes it second and eight. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 25. Zips it to the tight end. Tackle right around the 18-yard line. Number 35 with the tackle at the 18-yard line. That'll make it third and one. Two tight, two tight. And he's level at the three-yard line. To be successful, you've got to be able to come through on third down, and that's just what they did with that big run. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Brought 
down at the seven. The defense got a great push and blew that play up well behind the line of scrimmage. The Rams call a timeout. That's their second of the half. He makes it to the six-yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. Out of bounds at the two-yard line. Fourth down. This isn't much more than an extra point. It's up, and he got it. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I think I can count on one hand the last time I saw this good a defensive performance where you had a chance for a shutout. Are you kidding me in college football today with the spread and the running quarterbacks and all the speed and space? These guys got a chance to put up a shutout. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. He's taken down at the 31-yard line. That screen gets around six. He executed the screen play well here by getting the ball to the halfback. They pick up some yards. Oh, it almost picked off. The defense always likes to see a pass broken up, but getting the turnover would have been really big. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. And a quick throw. He's to the 40. And he's finally knocked out of bounds at the 42. This secondary better tighten it up. Taking a slow down this drive. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 42-yard line. Oh, and he had some steam on that throw. Tackle made at the 31. You obviously have to worry about him as a ball carrier, but he showed here that you have to be concerned about him as a receiver as well. He's got good hands, and you know he's good in the open field. He's got to throw it in a hurry. Fires across the middle. And he's got his receiver. It's the sophomore. The offense calls a timeout. The field goal unit's out on the field. They're going to try to get these guys three points before halftime. The kick is up, and he's got it. They might just want to squib this one. Only a few seconds left here before halftime. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. They'll run it. And they push him out at the 27-yard line. First half comes to a close as they head to the locker rooms. 20-3, to three, Rams. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. The lead at halftime much larger than any of us anticipated. I know I'm surprised. I can see it in your face watching the game. You're a little bit surprised. You think these coaching staffs are shocked both on both sides, one that has the lead and the other one that needs to come back. <laughs> well, I think one side's probably going, yeah, this is just how we drew it up, and the other side's probably going, what, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> I think that it's going to be interesting in the second half because you are surprised, you are shocked, and now as a coach, you got to adjust. you got to get these guys to believe and understand that it went that way in the first half. We're not that bad. 
they're not that good. So let's come out in the second half and execute because our game plan will work if we continue to work. We have to have, listen, big plays have to come our way. We have to force some turnovers. But if we stay aggressive, good things can happen and we can get back in this ballgame. I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Maxwell takes it at the 16, gets to about the 27-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Fires it out. He gets hit out of bounds at the 32-yard line. That's good for a gain of five yards. That brings him second and five. Second down and five. Ball on the 32-yard line. They go to the air and pick up a couple. It's a nice catch by the sophomore, but it was well played by the defense to stop him for a minimal gain. his receiver in a hurry. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. From their own 44-yard line, it's first down. He's out of bounds at the 46-yard line. A couple of yards there. The freshman took the quick pass, but the defense made a very nice read on the play. He didn't have anywhere to go. He's scrambling. He's tackled at the 48-yard line. That's a game two on the play. That'll bring third down again. And he throws it away. They're going to be forced to punt it away here. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. Wiggins awaits the snap. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. go with the run and he's taken down behind the line second and 13 ball on the 17 they'll bring him down at the 25 yard line call it a gain of 8 yards that'll make it 35 Taken down at the 36-yard line. He showed you right there why a defense can never lose tabs on him. Take your eye off him in coverage, and he'll create a big play. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. Just throws this one away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. it all going long and a great catch and he's all the way in for the touchdown he splits the uprights with the extra point
it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The offense takes the field again. They were forced to punt their last time out. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Now he's scrambling, and they bring him down for a sack on the play. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Incomplete, and it looked exactly like their last pass. It was exact same play, and I think the offensive coordinator just tried to pull a fast one. Makes it out to about the 26. It was still a quality run. I like the fight the offense showed in earning those yards. Everybody up close. It looks like they're coming after this kick. He's tackled at the 46. I was really impressed with their last series. They came out with a focus on the passing game, and the offense got the job done. We'll see if they have the same strategy here. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. From their own 49-yard line. Second down. Good protection. With the pass, incomplete. Number 86, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it third and seven. Nice catch, first down, and he's knocked down. That last catch gives him 100 yards receiving. Even when he isn't open, the quarterback will still throw him the ball and just let him make a play. It really shows the trust that the quarterback has with his receiver. From the 36-yard line, first down. He's knocked out of bounds at the 23-yard line. Nice run to the left there. That's good for a gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. From the 19 yard line, it's second down. run there and that sets them up for the first and goal First down, first and goal. You're gonna go play action inside the five. Here's the time to do it. That's three down and one to go. The Rams with a 24 point lead. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Stop behind the line. This is the ninth play of this drive. 
They line up in the jumbo set. Tosses left. There's another. Silva halfback took it in for six. Simple play call there by the offensive coordinator. Just give it to the back and let him find his way into the end zone. He makes the PAT. They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Rams have really been all over the place. They're playing like a defense possessed. I love to watch a defense just pin its ears back and just fly to the football. They are playing with a reckless attitude, and it's really paid off because it's set up their offense to be able to score points. I don't expect any once-in-a-lifetime rallies here, but that being said, we could still see some exciting plays. And down he goes at about the 33-yard line. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Flips it middle to the running back. That's a great tackle at the 36. strike and he drops it can't blame him for not hanging on to that pass he got hit pretty hard from their own 36 yard line second down and they make the stop around the 48 yard line First and ten. Ball on the 48-yard line. Look at a scramble down. He can't get away from the pressure. He scrambled. And he's leveled at the 47 yard line. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 38. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. And he's shoved out of bounds around the 45 yard line. Pressure and brought down. I think they had to go for it given the circumstances. They just couldn't pull it off. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. And he's tackled at about the 45. The back gets three on the carry. That'll make it second and seven. From the 45-yard line, it's second down. Just over two minutes in the game. Makes it out to about the 33. That's a deal of 12 on the play. That makes it first and 10.
They go right back to him, and this time they get him in the backfield. It's second and 12. Ball on the 35. They get nice yardage on that run. Third down. Double tight, double tight. Well, a nice stop there late in the fourth quarter, but this game, quite frankly, has been over for a long time, and I'm ready for it to end. This will just add insult to injury. The Rams coaching staff, Kirk, do they start wondering, hey, uh, are we going to have trouble with our star player after the struggles he had today? Well, I think the coaching staff's got to be happy that this team is able to win the football game and overcome the fact that their star player didn't have a great game. But I think making adjustments and changing the game plan because their star didn't deliver, I think that would be a big mistake. So that wraps things up for us. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.